Hi everybody, it's Alexa here from Pages of Forbidden Love. I'm here with another In My Mailbox post. So I told you guys last week's video that I had about a month worth of books to show you guys and that I was going to separate them into categories of where I had gotten them from or what type they were and such things. As I'm sure all of you have already realized, there is 200 border stores closing in the U.S. So several of them are closing in Arizona, where I happen to live, and the one that was pretty close to my house is the one that's going to be closing, actually. I'll still have another one that's somewhat close to me, it's just going to be a little bit further away than the one I normally like to go to. Anyways, so they've been having some, you know, good to moderate sales so far to try and get rid of most of their stock. A lot of the teen stuff, which as you can see probably on the bookshelf behind me, I read a lot of teen stuff, I review a lot of teen stuff, but unfortunately it's only 20% off right now, which I can do better with coupons or online pricing, so I haven't really gotten teen stuff from Borders yet, so they do have 30% off on the adult romance section, and I am a member, so I get an additional 10%, so 40% is about what I could get with coupons and such things, so I have been getting a lot of adult romances from there. So let's just get started, and I'll show you all of the stuff that I've been getting from them for the past, I think, three weeks. I went there today, actually, which today is Monday, and I know I'm doing this video way ahead of time. It's just, like I said, I have a lot of stuff to show off. So I went there today, and I wasn't really planning on getting anything. I just wanted to see if they had increased the percentage off the books. They hadn't yet, but I was just drawn in, so I got Trial by Fire. This is by Joe Davis in her Firefighter, the Firefighters of Station 5, and my book club group on the adult romance um, thread on Barnes & Noble always talks about this, so I had to get it. And I normally don't do this, just because I normally like to read the first book and see how I like it before I continue on. But here's the second one, it's Under Fire. Here's the third one. It is called Hidden Fire. Just kind of like the covers for these two. The next one is Line of Fire. And the last one, the newest one that is out, and I think this is the last book in this series too because I think she's moving on to other series, is Ride the Fire. So like I said, I normally don't purchase all the books in a series unless I have already read the first one and I know that I like it. But I'm taking a gamble on this series, and I figure if I don't like it, maybe I could do a giveaway for it, or find a friend or somebody who actually wants to read it. Let's go through some more stuff, because trust me, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I, of course, I love Laura Lee's books. I have a couple different series by her, and this one, it was originally the, I'm trying to think, the Navy Seal series and then it changed to the Elite Op series. This is the technical third book in the series, so th I've heard this one isn't as good as the other ones in the series, but I like to read them in order, so this one's Heat Seeker, so we'll see how I like it. Unfortunately, they didn't have book four there, which was Blackjack. I couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm assuming people had already bought whatever copies they had. But they had a ton of copies of Renegade, which this is the fifth one in the series, so I'm missing the fourth one now. Right, the fourth one, yes. I'm missing Blackjack, but hopefully I'll be able to get that with some gift cards and stuff that I still have left over from Christmas, so. We'll, we'll complete the series no matter what happens. They have been having giveaways recently for the second and third book in this series, which I believe is Deadly Heat and can't think, Deadly Lies I think is the other one, but I hadn't read the first one yet, so this is the first one, it's Deadly Fear. Obviously I won book two and three, but I'm kind of a series person, so I like to read them in order, even though most adult romances can stand alone. I also picked up a copy of Flat Out Sexy. I had won the third book in this series a while back, and again, I'm a series person and I like to read the series in order, even if the books can stand alone. So this is the first book I believe in the series, and so I'll be able to see if I like it or not. 
this one I got purely because I have heard good things about it on the adult romance threads and stuff that I read. And plus, I mean, how can you go wrong with a cover that has a good looking guy on it and it has a puppy on it? And I own something else by Jill, but I haven't read it yet. So hopefully she's a good author and hopefully I like her. On the blog, I think about last week, I reviewed the first book in this series, which is When Harry Met Molly. And I did like it. I really liked the concept behind it. I didn't think that it was maybe not adult enough, perhaps. There wasn't a whole lot of steaminess to it. But here's the second book. It stoops to the left of me, Princess to the Right. It has a cute title again, so I'm hoping that she keeps with her trend of having, you know, witty characters who I can easily fall for. I have been hearing so many things about Cat and Bones which is part of the Night Huntress series, or the Night Huntress novels, and I hadn't actually read their stories yet, but because I heard so many great things about them, I just had to pick up the books. So, they had Halfway to the Grave, and I also got the second one right away, which is One Foot in the Grave. I've already read Halfway to the Grave, and I really did like it. There was only one aspect of the story that I didn't really care for, if you read my review, it's going to be up, I think, in about a week from now. You'll be able to see what exactly about it I didn't like, but there's just one part of it that kept it from being five stars for me, so I'm happy that I picked up the second book right away, and I'll probably most likely be continuing on with this series, so there's about five books out in it so far. And last but certainly not least, another series that I've heard great things about, but I haven't really gotten that into it yet would be um, Cresley Cole series. I'm. This is a very popular series and now all of a sudden I am blanking on it's the Immortals After Dark series. This is actually book two. They didn't have book one there. Well actually no, they had book one there but the cover was all bent up and pretty much ruined on it so I'll get book number one from somewhere else or maybe one of the other borders in a different location that's closing will have the first one and I'll be able to kind of get the start to this series. The only book that I've read in this series was actually one of those short story ones, and it was part of Deep Kiss in Winter with Gina Showalter, or Jenna Showalter, however you want to pronounce that. Um, so I have read that story, and I thought it was good. I didn't really think it was amazing, but hopefully the books themselves will actually give me a little bit more to enjoy about them, and plus a lot of people really like this series. So that's everything so far that I have gotten from Borders Closing Sale. I am hopefully waiting for them to increase the discounts because they still have about half the stores left worth of stuff. So there is some good deals still to be had there, but I'm waiting for a little bit better deals to possibly get some more stuff from there. So this is all the stuff that I've gotten from Borders so far, and I'm sorry if you have any Borders near you that are closing because it is sad to see a bookstore go. So just let me know your comments, whether they're on Borders or whether they're in my mailbox post, and don't forget to tell me what you're reading. Bye, everybody!